Okay, this how-to video is gonna show you how to use the uh, ECAD MCAD collaboration tools uh, with inside the Cadence PCB tools. This allows you to collaborate directly with your mechanical engineer who's using SolidWorks, SolidEdge, ProEngineer, Katia, anything that supports um, the IDX flow um, with a click of a button. So um, your mechanical engineer could be working on the, the, the layout, maybe he does a, a board placement um, or a board outline, he gives you the placement of some default components, he'll give you the enclosures, etc. He can then send you the data. He can then carry on modifying any data that he needs to do. You can start working on the PCB layout, some constraints, some routing, etc. He can then send you updates. And rather than him kind of, you having to stop and all this kind of stuff, he can actually just send you this. You get a notification. And then with the click of a button, you can just import this. Uh, and you can accept or reject uh, the imports. And then you can also export data back to him. So we'll start off, we'll look under the tools menu. There's something called the MK collaboration. Um, so I've got a default option so I can push updates, which is sending something to mechanical engineer. I can pull updates, uh, which is getting some mechanical data. Um, I've got a set update option that allows me to look at um, the time for files, etc., which directory to look at. So um, unfortunately, I don't have a SolidWorks license. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simulate uh, getting a, a file from the mechanical engineer. So I'm just going to replay a little script that just copies some files to a directory. Uh, and then we'll wait for the form to update. And you can see straight away, it's looking for, it's telling me that I've got some new mechanical data. So I'm then gonna pull the updates. It brings in effectively uh, all the data that the mechanical engineer shows me. So I get check boxes so I can effectively accept or reject whether I want to add these components. Let's just turn off the roam, zoom and roam function. So I'm just gonna accept everything. I'm happy with everything. And I'm then just gonna apply this and that then brings the updates into PCB editor. So if we go and look at uh, the 3D canvas view of this, you can see effectively I've got my mechanical housing, my, my three uh, SMA connectors are all placed nicely. I've got a connector placed over here, another connector placed over here. Let's just go to the symbols and we'll just turn off uh, the top cover and I can see I've got my components placed inside. I might have a few issues, maybe my LED doesn't quite line up. Let's just turn the cover back on. Yeah, I can't. My LEDs really should be placed in this location, so I can let him know that from a notification point of view. Um, but let's leave it like that. Um, so I'm now effectively going to, my mechanical engineer has, bit, has made those changes. He's moved the LEDs for me, repositioned them. So I'm just going to replay a script to say update. So this is effectively him copying the new files across to the directory uh, with the updated positions. I now get my, my ECAD MCAD form is, is showing me. I've got new mechanical data available. So I'm then going to pull the updates. And he's physically positioned uh, the three diodes. Okay, that's good. Um, he's also changed the position of the connectors. I'm not really happy with that because I know the connectors were lining up. So I'm gonna reject the three positions of the connectors. We'll leave those as they were. And I'm gonna add a comment and say, um, J1 to J3, position okay, uh, leave as is. Um, and then I apply that and then that, that sends the information back to the mechanical engineer. So if I then go to the 3D canvas again, we can see that my connected positions is there, but I, it still hasn't quite positioned my LEDs correctly. So uh, let's go to the view camera. Let's look at the top. Um, we'll just make these side by side. So we'll tile the two side by side. Let's just zoom in here a bit. So I can effectively uh, go into placement edit mode. Let's get the LEDs, we'll just rotate these round and then uh, go and place these. Not quite right, let's just move it a little bit. That's pretty good, that's one's okay. We'll jump into the next one. That one looks okay. That's good, so my LEDs are now positioned and finished so I can then close the 3D canvas down. Let's just maximize this. And then I'm gonna to go to the ECAD MCAD and I'm gonna push the updates to the mechanical engineer. He then gets an updated file um, and we can then carry on working um, together.